Today, we're going to be taking a look at some new tools from Vessel. We're going to be doing some unboxing, some unwrapping. I'm going to let you guys take a look at these tools. I really like this stuff from Vessel, so comment down below and let me know if you've ever used any of these tools from Vessel or anything from them. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts were. At the end, I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown on my thoughts on these tools. Pretty excited. They look awesome, so let's get to it. So we'll get everything out, get it all lined up see what's going on what we got in here this baby right here looks fantastic another version so we'll probably compare those and then these things look pretty sick and we've got some bits so we'll go ahead and run through this stuff real quick I'll show you guys what it looks like what it does so we'll start by opening up these bits here this will be the first thing they come in little clip here which is cool there's five of them and they feel incredibly sturdy um, there's also a magnetizer and a demagnetizer over here, but it, it just clips in and you can just pull these out. I really like that, but that way you can clip this onto something if you'd like to. They have a very unique design. You see this ball right here with a thinner shaft and then it goes up and there's a quarter inch piece at the end there. To magnetize them, you just run it through this side here. And yeah, that's a strong, there's like a pretty strong magnet. And then to demagnetize, you run it along the top here and it's supposed to demagnetize it. Pretty cool little bit holder here. Gives you some longer bits, which I like this length of bit. It gives you enough, but not too much where you can't get your driller impact into places. It's also about the length of a regular screwdriver. So I'll show you guys that one here in a little bit. So one of the other things that they sent were these ball grip carrying bit holders. Now these are much cooler than the other bit holders that I own. If you guys are like me, sometimes it's about functionality, sometimes it's about looks. And this one is really about both because what it will allow you to do is it'll allow you to use this as a screwdriver. Like you can use this and grip this and like it is possible. So if you wanna use this on a keychain or something, you can. I mean, this is about the, the length of a regular shafted screwdriver. So when you put it into um, this or into another form. I'll show you guys that in a second when we look at these, the, the high speed bit holders and those type of things. It's about the regular length of a shaft of a screwdriver. They come in all of these different colors. We have purple, black, red, orange, and green. Um, so you have a variety and you can actually tell which bits are which. So if you put your Phillips in the green, you know that you just have to choose the green for your Phillips, which I think is an excellent, excellent way to tell the difference. Now these two things right here, this is where the money is at. These are some pretty cool drivers that they have. They're rechargeable screwdrivers that run off of battery. This one here actually comes in a pretty big case. It's a bit holder case, uh, pretty similar to what you would see from Milwaukee or somebody like that. So we open it up. It's got the charger here. It's got the screwdriver, uh, the bit holder which is cool. It's got the same design as the bits with that ball at the end. And then it's got three rows of bits here. You can move them. There's a couple different slots. I'll probably keep these the same, but you can uh, pull it out and it comes with a different variety. These are posi drive bits here down at the bottom. We will not use those here in America because we don't have posi screws anywhere. However, a selection of Allen's, Torx, all three sizes of squares, three sizes of flatheads, and three sizes of Phillips. This right here is where the money is at. This screwdriver here, push this in, and I haven't charged this or done anything with it. You just plug that in there and it just goes. So as far as torque and stuff, I haven't tested it out. I do know that it does fulfill a lot of the functions that you use your impact for that you don't really want to, but you're like, I don't want to waste my time. This would be fantastic for devices device screws, that type of stuff. Honestly, all kinds of stuff because the other thing that it does is it locks in place. So right now I can use this as a regular screwdriver. And then if I want to, I can press up and use it as a battery function. If you notice on the box, it says battery times manual drive. So you're actually able to do both. This is the regular one. The other one over here is the high speed one. So we'll do a little bit of a comparison, kind of get a feel for both of them. The regular speed one is the black um, and it's the one that comes in this little case with all these bits, which I love because Honestly, half the time that I use my impact, I don't necessarily need the power that an impact gives you, but I do need to not waste a thousand hours uh, screwing in all these little tiny screws that don't take much torque, but they take forever for you to screw in. Case, super sturdy, uh, pretty thick, but I mean, to have all those bits and have everything ready, I like that a lot. Take a little look at this over here. Pretty sick packaging. So here is the high speed 
um, driver. It feels very similar so far. It's gray, hard to tell uh, a very big difference so far. The shape is very similar to the regular version. They're, they're the exact same. The feel is, I mean, pretty much the same. However, this is considered their high speed. So I'm sure the torque in this, uh, in this gray one here is much, much better. Just takes bits. And this is what I was talking about earlier, you guys. This is about what you would get with a normal screwdriver. Obviously you can magnetize those and they're thin. So I really like that. Obviously they're not insulated, but you wouldn't want to use this where you would want an insulated driver anyway, because it has power and that's just no bueno for anything that is putting out power. It's battery times manual. So if you stop using it like that, it's, it's just a regular screwdriver. If you're not pressing any of the buttons, you don't have to move it up or down. It just locks into place if you're not using that button. I like that about this quite a bit to recharge it. There's just a little port here on the side and you just remove this cover and you have the USB, super easy to charge. Same way you probably charge your headlamps and stuff. Uh, you just take them into the van at night, plug them in, and they charge on your way to work and on your way home. I like the feel of this ball a lot. I'm really hoping that that gets rid of my need to carry an impact always, like 24 seven, have one on my body. Obviously, if you're screwing in screws into metal studs or into anything like that, you're gonna want your impact. However, when you're devicing out and doing little stuff like that, you don't want to just use a regular screwdriver. You want to use something that's not manual. So this, I think, gets rid of a lot of the need for that. The details on this are pretty well worked out. Same thing on the other one, but there's a flashlight right here. So you can see what you're working on, just like if you were using an impact. They have these two indents here for your fingers. The ball obviously gets a little skinnier here. Whatever this finger is here fits just perfectly on that ball. If I'm pressing the button, we'll have to do some testing and see how well these torque down. Same thing with the collet. You just pull it out to put the bit in. Fits in there nicely. And same thing to get it out. You just pull it out and it slides in. You do have to pull it out in order to get the bit in, which that's not a big deal depending on how often you change bits. But these are the same size right here. This one's the same size as these bits that these came in. Um, so you're able to, you know, clip this on wherever uh, and it just magnetizes all your bits you can obviously fill this with smaller bits too if you are using something like this type of bit holder here and you prefer that obviously you can stick little bits in there i like this piece a lot and it can just clip on your pouch or on your bag somewhere somewhere close and it's really light it's not very heavy at all and it magnetizes and demagnetizes which i think is a great function to have around especially since there's another utility for it we'll have to check on the fit of these bits and see just how they fit in uh, screws and stuff like that but i have a feeling that they're going to be a-okay fitting in whatever they do seem to be super high quality just like everything else that i've tested from vessel so far stick around for that subscribe and if you want to see what i carry in my pouch every day go ahead head up to this video and check it out i will see you guys on the next one